Should you let Printify automatically route your orders to Printify Choice instead of the print provider that you chose, or should you turn that setting off? I'll be answering that question in this video after getting a question from Jill asking about order routing and Printify Choice and whether she should turn those on. She asked that on one of the prior episodes of my Talk Shop Tuesday series, and so that's what we'll be going over today is beginner settings that you need to know about Printify so that your orders are completely set up and optimized, and maybe even a few settings that even the more seasoned sellers might not know about as well. And don't forget to put your questions in the comments below if you want a chance for your question to get answered in a future Talk Shop Tuesday video. And if you haven't signed up for Printify just yet, there will be a link down in the description for you to sign up for a completely free account. And hello, if we haven't met before, my name is Cassie Johnson. I've been a print-on-demand seller with Etsy and Printify for five years, and I've spent over $400,000 on Printify's website alone. So let's dive right into it. Coming over here to Printify, the first thing I wanna talk about is Printify Choice. So what is Printify Choice? Printify Choice, you can see here, when you go to click on any Printify product, you'll see that they're the recommended printer. So when you come to say the Comfort Color 1717 shirt, you're gonna see the Printify Choice and a Start Designing button. If you click Start Designing here, then Printify Choice is the one who's printing it, which if you're new to print on demand, you might not know that Printify doesn't actually print anything or even ship anything. They are just a website that brings together hundreds of printers from around the world to give you the option to use them for your print-on-demand business and coordinate them all in one place. So what Print by Choice is, they actually get to pick who prints your items every single time that you get an order. Now, if you don't want to use Print by Choice, you can actually scroll down here and click Choose Manually. This is when you'll actually see the other more individual print providers like Monster Digital, Marco Fine Arts, Daimonity, Swift POD, and so on. If you choose your own specific print provider, then that's who will get used every single time that you get orders. Now, Printboy Choice has gotten some upgrades in the last year or so. My big concern with them used to be that if you had multiple items ordered in one listing, then they might not all get shipped by the same person, but they have made some improvements. So I don't think that's as big of a concern. I think the only reason you might not want to use Printboy Choice these these days is if you don't want your item to look different one time that it's shipped compared to another. Most of the print providers are pretty comparable, but I will link a video down below where I ordered Comfort Colors shirt samples from seven different print providers, and a few of them did have quite of a different look when it came to the print. But even let's say you choose Monster Digital or Swift POD to print your shirts, if you don't go into your settings and turn this off, then they're still going to ship it with Print by Choice. To see what I'm talking about, you'll click the store settings, and then up here, you'll click order settings. And on this page, if you scroll down just a little bit, you might see that this box right here is actually checked, which is activate my upgrade to print by choice, which means if they think they can get it cheaper for you from someone else or get it faster, that they will route it to print by choice automatically. So totally fine if you want to use that. I've had quite a few of my students have a good experience with print by choice, but if you're not wanting to use them, then you would go ahead and uncheck this and then make sure to come down here to the bottom and actually click save. Now the second half of Jill's question was actually about order routing. So that's actually here on this same page. You'll see this button that says enable order routing. So what this means is if your particular print provider that you chose is out of stock in one of the colors or the sizes, if you have this enabled, then they'll automatically send it to a different print provider for you. If you don't check this box, then when something's out of stock, you'll manually choose who you're switching that print provider to, giving you just a little bit more control in your business if you have certain preferences to which print providers that you like. The next setting on this same page while we're already here that you might wanna look at is your order submission settings. This is when Printify will actually charge your card and send it through to the printer to be printed. After that time, you won't be able to make any changes to that item. So it is important that you look at this. Now, if you want, you can start with manually having to click approve every time you get an order. But once you're getting a consistent amount of orders every day, I do recommend setting this up to go through automatically 
easily or if you think that you might forget. I personally like to select automatically at a certain time every day, like 10 a.m. So then you have a deadline that you know you need to check your orders, make sure everything looks good every day, or if you've gotten any messages asking for changes, you'll need to go in and change those before those orders go into production every day. The other big benefit to having them go through automatically at a certain time of day is it'll go through on your card one time. If you do it manually, then you'll get charged separately for each of those transactions, and some credit cards will actually decline it thinking it's fraud. And again on this page, make sure any changes that you make, you then click save. In this same settings area, you can change your store name. This is what's actually going to get printed on the items that get shipped to your customer. And then for the ship from address, I do recommend leaving this as the Printify default instead of having your own custom address on it. But let's talk about some really fun ones coming over here to the branding and gift messages. So the branding cards are a really interesting thing that you really can make some extra money with. I'll link an entire YouTube video tutorial I have down in the description on how to set up these branded cards with a QR code that gives them an additional discount if they come back and buy more items from you. This can be especially lucrative if someone is giving an item as a gift to someone else and then they are interested in your Etsy shop to see what else you have and might come buy a gift for someone else or themselves with that coupon that you sent them. These are only available through select print providers. So if you are using any of these print providers, then you will be able to include these with your items. They do have a call of 15 cents or 10 cents if you have print to buy premium, but the additional income that you can make from just a few people a month actually purchasing another item from your shop can be really huge. And then coming over here to gift messages. Now this is one that I'm not the biggest fan of having on for the same reason that the branding cards are only available from certain print providers. If you have gift messages turned on and available in your Etsy store, and then the customer puts in a gift message on a product that does doesn't offer these, then you have to let them know. So I actually personally don't enable gift messages in my Etsy store, and so you have to turn that off on the Etsy side. But if all of the products that you're gonna be selling are available for gift messages, then you could consider including these since it is a nice touch for customers and you can upload your own special template and then Printify will put the text that someone types in on Etsy for you onto these cute little cards, which is the nice touch. There is a list of the supported print providers here on this page. So you can see if you're only ever gonna be using these ones, whether this one makes sense for you or not. Now let's head over to the wallets. We can talk about how you can get 3% cash back on all of your Printify orders. If you you click wallet and then payments, you'll be brought here to this print by balance page. And here's where you can add your credit card or debit card for transactions. Now you could go ahead and open up a cashback credit card like the Wells Fargo active cash card and get 2% cash back on all your purchases. Or once you're getting consistent sales, you can actually use the Printify wallet. Up here at the top, if you click add money, you can add whatever amount that you'd like from specifically PayPal. And if you have the PayPal Cashback MasterCard, then that card actually gets you 3% cash back on all purchases through PayPal. So if you come through here once a week and add more money to your Printify balance to pay for your Printify orders, then you just got 3% cash back on all of those purchases. Now, if you don't want to open up a PayPal credit card and you'd rather use a different one, you can just upload your credit card or debit card here. Since if you didn't know, you do have to pay Printify for the products and then Etsy will pay you what the customer paid minus the Etsy fees. So you are the middleman when it comes to those payments and they will come directly out of your account. Here's also the button down at the bottom where you can subscribe to Printify Premium. Now Printify is completely free to use, but if you want to sign up for their Printify premium plan, you can save up to 20% off all the products. Now a product like a sweatshirt, it'll save you over $3 every time you sell a sweatshirt. So you'd really only need to be selling about 10 sweatshirts a month for the Printify premium to pay off. Other products, it might be closer to 20 or 30 products a month. So you can purchase this right away if you'd like, but you can also just wait until you're getting enough orders a month to make it worth it. Now the last three 
things I want to show you are less of settings and things that I think you should just know where they are on print to buys website. The first one is actually one that I hear a lot of sellers being surprised and not knowing that it exists, which is the my files tab. If you come down here to your account on the bottom left and you click that button and then click my files, this is actually going to open up a file of every single design that you've uploaded to Printify's website. So this can be a great place to come to if you need an old design that you can't find somewhere on your computer, for example. Whenever I'm looking for an old design file, I'll come into that Printify product, and then here you can copy the actual design file name. Now you might be able to just search your computer for this, but if for some reason that you lost it, you can again come down to that My Files tab here at the bottom, and now you can search for that file name, and now you can download it again just that easy. The second thing I think you should know where it is is the Other Orders tab. Now most of your orders should show up in your Printify Orders tab, but if you ever have a product that maybe you uploaded to Etsy before using Printify, you have a product that you manually made on Printify because you can't combine products that way, like selling adult shirts, kids shirts, sweatshirts all in one listing, and you make a manual listing on Etsy, then those orders would actually show up here in your other orders tab. But if you ever wanna sell more than one Printify product in an Etsy listing all at the same time, then you can use my software Simply Listed to connect those listings. So you'd upload your designs to Printify, and then you would make a manual listing on Etsy. And then you'd come to Simply Listed to connect the two so that orders are still completely automated. I'll put the full tutorial for the SKU linking system down in the description as well with a free trial for Simply Listed. But this is how easy it can be. You click the five, say Print to buy products that you want to link to Etsy. In this case, I'm selling a matching family Christmas shirt set with adult shirts, kid shirts, baby shirts, etc., all in one listing. You'll choose your Etsy listing. And then all you need to do is match up which product on Printify goes to each shirt, like the adult shirt goes to the adult shirt, the youth shirt goes to youth, the toddler shirt goes to toddler, and the baby bodysuit goes to baby bodysuit. You can even have Simply Listed link the prices from Printify into that listing, click continue. And now all of the SKU numbers from Printify that tell Printify what product they ordered, what design, what color, and what size get copied over into your Etsy listing. And the last thing that I think you should know about Printify is their new personalization option. If you wanna sell personalizable products where the customer can change the name or change the date, then now Printify has added this personalization button here for the listings. So if you click this enable personalization button, it's gonna give you some information that these require manual approval, which is great because then the orders aren't going to go through with the wrong name on there. It'll wait for you to update the name or the address, the date, and update the order. So you can put in here you know, what you want them to actually put in the box. And then now when your customer orders this listing, they'll have a box to type in their personalized designs. And then you'll be able to go make that custom design and upload it back to Printify without needing to worry about these orders getting automatically approved with your other ones. I hope this video was super helpful in understanding how Printify works, what settings you should turn on and turn off. And as always, make sure to put your questions down in the comments below for our next episode of Talk Shop Tuesdays, and I'll link that video up next to show you how to actually make the branded inserts to make up to 75 extra sales every single month just by handing out these extra coupons.